Hey guys, this is Bear from Bear's Workshop. Today we're going to be changing the oil on this generator. This is a Cummins Onan 5500. This is in our Class A. It's a 2012 Fleetwood Bounder. After about 30 hours, uh, we had a major failure with the generator. We had uh, it would start and it would it would stop after about 10 seconds. We're going to do another video on how we got that repaired. But the problem with the generator was oil pressure. We were getting an error code of two flashing lights. The two flashing lights means that there's an oil pressure problem. We ended up bringing it in for service. We had it under warranty and the problem was taken care of. Shortly thereafter, we had this go out on a rental and the customer put 110 hours on it, which is right where you need to give it another oil change. It's real close. It should be 150. The renter had a problem when he had it out. After running it about 90 hours or so, it would not start. It had the same problem. It would start and stop. The error code again was two flashing lights, which told me that it was either low on oil or we're having another problem with the oil pressure sensor. So he checked the oil. It was low on oil. We put some more oil in and then it started running. But after that usage, we need another oil change. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to take the lid off first, setting the lid aside. We're going to check the air filter while we're here. It's a little dirty. We could probably use a new, new oil filter. A little bit of a smudge on this here. So we're going to need to replace that before we uh, before we're done with this maintenance. But that's all that is to replace the air filter. Get these tabs underneath here. And put them back in. Okay. Check the oil level. See, we're right where it needs to be. It's a hair below pad, but it's kind of dirty. So here's the drain valve right here. We've got our bucket right here. We're going to open this up, and the oil is going to go straight into there. We want to make sure we don't have any oil spills. This is fairly easy to do because we have a, the drain right here. So here we go. We're going to open that up. We're leaving the cap out so that there's airflow so it doesn't create a type of suction. So this is the replacement oil filter. There's a part number on it if you're curious. Uh, I've got probably 10 oil filter wrenches, but this oil filter was too small for everything that I had. Uh, plus the fact that it, it sits right here and it's fl almost flush. You've got about uh, that much space sticking out. So and then it's got a flat bottom. We're going to take a picture of that, but there's no real place to grab it. So I bought this cap wrench at O'Reilly's. I don't know if you have an O'Reilly's by you, but uh, I was able to take the generator filter in there and just size it up. Uh, this is something that's going to fit right here. It won't be a problem. But the strap wrenches, you're not going to be able to get to it with a strap wrench. All my strap wrenches were too, too big to begin with, but then it didn't even matter because the, the space is so limited there. So we're going to use this to get the old filter out. We're going to try and use the bag trick to put this around the filter so any oil that pours out when we take it off hopefully will go into the bag. Alright, well, the bag didn't work. Oil's still dripping out, so it's going to take a couple more minutes to drain. In the meantime, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to fill the, the oil filter up, the new oil filter. I'm going to fill this up with oil. That way when it starts, it's already got a, the oil that's required in there because when you put it in, it's not going to just go right to the filter like it should, like you'd want it to until it starts circulating. This way it won't be that much of a dry start. Then I'm going to dip my finger in the oil, put it around the ring. Always put that, that's, that wetness around it to get it sealed up. This takes two quarts of oil, so not the filter, but the whole generator. So this was a brand new container, so once we're down to two quarts, we'll know that we have the right amount. We're still dripping a little bit, so we're going to wait a moment. So I flushed a little bit of oil through this to help get out any grime. And you can see what's coming out right now is clear. So I'm going to go ahead and close off this valve. On the oil filter, all you need to do is go hand tight and just snugly, but you don't need to use the wrench to get it on there. My hands are still clean enough that I could get it in there snug. So I'm going to use this to fill up my two quarts, even though I've already used some. And it's important to get the right level on this. It's right on. It's hard to see. The oil is so clean. After the generator starts up, we ran it for some time and then we checked the oil again and all was good. So thanks for watching and if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for, to receive notifications in the future when we have more videos. We'll see you next time. Thanks.